All right, there's a quick video to create spec maps and creating the MIP file. So as you can see on the screen, that's the basic iRacing car with the iRacing paints. So we will create a paint for that car. I'll show you how to put the spec map in and create the MIP file to upload the trading paints. Let's actually go back to that. So at the moment, you need to make sure that um, your trading paints isn't open. Trading paints isn't running, check in your toolbar, make sure your trading paints isn't running. Easiest way is to delete everything out of that documents iRacing paint folder. That way there's no confusion, you know where you're at. Once you get a bit more advanced with it, obviously this fills up with other people's paints all the time, so <coughs> we'll just leave it like that. Nice and empty for now to work with. I've created my base paint so far. When you open your um your template apart from the ZB, I've had to import this, but like the Mustang template, there'll be this custom spec map copy. Just close that, I'll just minimize it, turn it off. Don't worry about that to start with. Do your base paint, so in your paintable area, put your logos, all that sort of stuff in, see? Do your base paint, try and separate it up if you can a little bit so that you've got like your, the green items, your blue items, different parts of your, of your paint job together your logos together makes it a little bit easier uh, later on so basically you will export that as usual as a target file once you've done your base paint so I want to export to our paints folder let's get rid of this flipped over from what I was doing before so it's car underscore iRacing number dot TGA export That's exported. We'll go over to our iRacing and we'll control R. There is the paint, the base paint. Righto. So we've got the base paint done. That's the easy part. Well, the rest of it's pretty easy too once you see it. So then we could do our spec map. So we've done our paintable area. We can uh, turn that off. We don't want it to distract us from what we're doing up here. We'll turn our spec maps back on again. Now, each layer has a different shade. So, for your metallic layers, it's red. For your smoothness or roughness, it's green. So, these are individual. So, if we turn the red channel off, you'll see my green channel. So, that's the smoothness layer. So, that's covering everything. And then the red channel is the metallic layer. So, I've got a slight metallic to everything. But the major metallic things are the these grey or well, silver stripes which will be in the paint so if we flip back over to the other paint you'll see these white stripes will be silver but what we don't want is for these logos to be included in that spec map so basically what I have done is I've selected the items uh, this is GIMP, I don't know other areas, but uh, we do alpha to selection, which will select those layers. And I've basically gone up to these things and I've just pressed delete and delete. And it deletes that section of color off the spec map. So therefore, they, those layers won't be included in the spec map, so they will stay the same as the base layer paint. So you don't end up with that weird effect that you can get... Um, with the spec map going over the top of your logos and things like that darkens them or turns them into chrome or something like that so I've removed that, I've done that to all my decals so now it's just a case of uploading this spec map I'll just unselect that so we need to upload this spec map to into the iRacing folder so file, export as we need to create this as a spec so F -E -C. underscore 1913 before whatever your iRacing numbers dot TGA right out. so we need to export that so remembering we've got most of the things turned off we've only got the spec map open export and we'll go back over to our car and we will refresh that there we go it's now applied the spec map to it 
So the logos done included in the spec map, they stay the same. Uh, apart from these ones at the front, I've included in the spec map. We've got our nice chrome stripe up the back and everything else has got a nice gloss to it. I've got the matte black item at the top, but I want a matte black so it stands out. And if we have a look back in our iRacing folder now where we save our parts to, there is now an MIP file. So we've got the car file, the spec file and an MIP file. They are the items that we upload to Trading Paints. So uh, to Trading Paints, give me a second. So we're in our Trading Paints. We'll go to our car. Uh, where is it? Sprint, supercar, supercar, supercar. ZB. So it's going to ask you for two things here. It is going to ask you to you choose a new paint. So you upload that base file. That is where you're uploading this car targa. Just this one. All right. Once you've done that, it'll ask you in this choose new paint. Add a spec map. I've already got one applied, so it says remove spec map. But it'll say add a spec map. That is where you upload this MIP file. So they're the two files you'll need. This car one here is only created to create this map, this thing. So if you're sending paints to anybody, or you've done a paint for somebody, these are the two files here that they require. They don't need this spec file. They need the car base layer paint, and they need the MIP paint. And that will give them uh, everything that they need to see. Uh, hopefully that explains things a little bit better for you. It makes things a little bit easy to understand when you're doing spec mac paints. Um, look forward to seeing some cool paints. Cheers.